Well, Afghanistan has undergone a dramatic transformation in a half a year of Taliban rule. After six months of the Taliban, the situation is less violent than it has been in decades, but the once aid-fueled economy is barreling towards collapse. Tens of thousands of Afghans have fled or have been evacuated, including large numbers of the educated elites. The sight of armed Taliban fighters roaming the streets still jars and frightens residents. After six months of Taliban, the situation is less violent than it has been in decades. But the once aid-fueled economy is barreling toward collapse. Um, economic hardship came, but my prediction was worse. Uh, my prediction, to be honest with you, was a total economic collapse. Uh, so it hasn't gotten to that. Unlike the 1990s, the Taliban are allowing some women to work. Women are back in their jobs in the health and education ministries, as well as at Kabul International Airport, often next to men. But women are still waiting to return to work in other ministries, as thousands of jobs have been lost in the economic downward spiral, and women have been hit hardest. Um, the Taliban's um, smaller, hesitant move on women's education and women's work, um, I think it's a disappointment. Um, um, so they need to show um, more courage um, on that front. Despite this, girls in grade 1 to 6 have been going to school. But those in the higher grades are still locked out in most parts of the country. The Taliban promised all girls will be in school after the Afghan New Year at the end of March. And universities are gradually reopening private universities and schools never closed. But poverty is deepening. Even those who have money have a hard time accessing it. Women have returned to the streets, and many young men have put on Western clothes again. After initially shedding them for the traditional shalwar kameez, the long shirt and baggy pants favored by the Taliban. At banks, lines are long as residents wait for hours, sometimes even days, to withdraw a limit of $200 a week. This is a natural result as more than $9 billion in Afghanistan's foreign assets were frozen after the Taliban takeover. Meanwhile, the Taliban have reopened the country's passport office, which is clogged with thousands of people a day. The Taliban have promised Afghans they can travel, but only with proper documents.